Okay, so let's do another one with a square root. Now this time we have an extra transformation going on. You have a negative on the outside. You have x plus one inside and then minus two on the outside. So that's three different transformations we're gonna do in this one. Our first graph, of course, as always, is gonna be our base graph. We're gonna do y equals square root of x. And the graph is gonna look like that one goes up and to the right. Now we also have some key points here. This is 1, 1, and right here we've got 4, 2. So those are our two key points that are on there. Then of course it goes through 0, 0. Now it doesn't matter if you do this inside one or that outside one. It doesn't matter the order in which you do that. I'm going to start with the inside one and I'm going to do the square root of x plus 1. So the plus 1 inside what that's going to do is shift the graph one place to the opposite direction of this sign. So instead of moving it one place to the right for positive, you're going to instead move it one place to the left. So your first point, instead of at 0, 0, it's now going to be at negative 1, 0. This point also moves 1 over to the left. So instead of at 1, 1, it's now going to go through 0, 1. This last point also moves 1 to the left, which means that that's going to now go through, instead of 4, 2, it's going to go through 3, 2. So that's what that first transformation does. It shifted the whole graph one place over to the left. Okay, next, let's apply the negative 2 on the outside. So now the graph that we're going to do is square root x plus 1 minus 2. Okay, so basically everything except for the negative sign. It's going to take this graph the way it is. It's going to shift it down two units because of the minus two in the end. So this point that was right here at negative one, zero, that's going to move down two units. When it moves down two units, it's now going to start here. So at negative one and negative two, that's where the graph begins. This point that was at 0, 1, if you move that down two units, it's now going to go through this point right here at 0, negative 1. And then this point over here, that was at 4, 2, now that's going to go through, or at 3, 2 rather, that's now going to cross here at 3, 0. So we can put that one over here and it goes through 3, 0. Now the graph looks like this. The very last one is going to be our answer, and that's where we apply the negative sign outside. So we do ne negative square root x plus 1 minus 2 is the one we're going to do now. Now it's still going to start at the same spot. It's still going to be at negative 1, negative 2, but we're taking the whole graph and we're flipping it over. This is our pivot point, so we don't want to leave that point. We're leaving the graph here. We're just going to take it and move it down. So the whole thing flips upside down, which means instead of it going through this point here, it's now going to reflect and go down this way. So it flips over the horizontal axis. Okay, You can imagine the horizontal axis going right through negative 2. That's essentially what we're doing here. Which means now the graph is going to go through this point. It's going to go through 0, negative 3. This point that was up here, that's going to shift and go down. So this, this means that instead of it going 2 up, it's now going to go 2 down because it got reflected down that way. Okay, so that means that this one's going to be at this point. It's going to go through 3 and negative 4, which means the graph is going to now look like that. This would be what your final graph would look like. It took into account all these different transformations. So again, it's good to draw these out successively like this, so that way you can see exactly what each of those transformations are doing.